very easy to get a pretty good idea of the general health of your transfer case without having to tear it apart. And you know, one simple thing to do is on the output end right here, uh, when, when bearings begin to fail on these things or they're going to wear down or they start fretting, things tend to get a little loose. So what we're going to do is we're just going to check for lateral play right here like a lot of people do with turbochargers. You know, just, just try to see if you can move it back and forth. If it's tight, you can't get it to move at all, the bearings are probably healthy in there. I'd say there's a pretty good chance that you know, that end of it is in good shape. On the coupler side, it's a little difficult to do that. You know, if, if you can move that back and forth, you're in trouble. But if it feels pretty solid, it really doesn't tell you much. What we do is, is we just check for torque uh, to see if, uh, if the preloads are fairly snug on this end. What I'm going to do is take like an old output shaft or something where you can grab a hold of the coupler. And you want to basically put a very slow and, and gentle twisting force on the coupler until you feel a pop, you feel a move. It, it should resist you for a little bit and then all of a sudden give and, and move over. If it does that, your preloads on your coupler are nice and snug and there's a pretty good chance that you know, without having to open it up that your bearings are in pretty good shape in there. Another thing to check while you have all this out is spline tooth wear. Uh, the splines, and especially on the tranny, the output shaft here that go to the T-case, are known to wear down uh, quite a bit even if you have a, a, a later 2G tranny, the 99s have this problem. And what we're looking for is sawtooth wear on the splines. Right here is a very rough um, picture of what it should look like. A healthy spline will be nice and sharp on each end you know, with no, no wear, no, no sawtooth. A uh, bad one would look like this, where you'd have wear on, on one side, you know, kind of like a blade on, on the saw. So if it looks like this, you're in trouble. Sometimes you can have wear on both sides, uh, you're in trouble. If it looks like this, you're okay. And if you continue to run a worn output shaft in the coupler, what it's going to do is it's just going to continue to chatter back and forth in there for uh, for not very long before it'll wear it down considerably and eventually the splines could just shear off. So it's a very good idea to take a look at this while you have everything out and possibly replace the shaft if you have to uh, to get along and uh, you know, good, good reliability out of, the, out of the drivetrain. Another thing to check too is the transfer case coupler. Uh, you can get these from the dealer and replace them yourself if they show wear. Uh, they're around $220. But uh, it, basically, they wear the same as the output shafts do. If you see excessive wear in the output shaft, you want to take a break close to your coupler. Because normally they'll match, unless a recall's been done with a T case or somebody replaced it in the past for whatever reason. You're probably going to see equal wear between the two. Um, but again, the same thing. You know, look for sawtooth wear. If they look nice and square, everything looks clean in there. You're probably okay.